Well, if you're lucky enough to catch a fish today, unlike Dave so far, you're going to want to make it. And look at that beautiful walleye on the grill. Johnny has hung out throughout the entire show. Johnny, Johnny Mihailov from Finnegan's. Yes. It's good to have you it's here. It's so great to be here. Really. And you it's and I have been, been friends for like, we have to just have full we'll transparency. Just, we'll just say more than five years. I would say like 25 <laughs> years. It's so good. Well, okay. So we're going to talk walleye, but before we do, talk about that, let's talk about that gorgeous patio, all of Finnegan's opening back up again. Yeah. So we're on the tap rooms back open. We have a huge, huge patio. It's, it's like 300 people. Wow. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have music out there every once in a while. We have games. Um, it's just so much fun. It just feels like a little neighborhood, a little oasis in downtown Minneapolis. It must be. That's fabulous. And of course, as you mentioned earlier, but if we missed the segment, that's a remarkable about the proceeds of Finnegan's. It really is. And Jackie, the owner, you know, started this company 20 years ago with intent of turning beer into food. And she's really done a great job. And 100% of the proceeds go to uh, feeding the hungry, especially people that are tra trapped in the desert. Uh, where there's just not good fresh produce there. They right. can get the junk food, but they can't get the fresh produce. So we have to actually take the food to the people that need it. So buy Finnegan's because all the proceeds go good to and food. It's awesome beer. Okay, that's great. All right, it is awesome beer. I've been kind of sipping on the one that we used last hour, which was the blood orange. It's wonderful. Okay, so we are talking walleye on the grill, and I think people freak out yeah, with Dave, fish Dave, on the grill. Dave, this is walleye. Probably haven't seen the. Is so, it, yeah, 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 Dave has no idea. He has no idea. Okay. Uh, people are afraid to cook walleye on the grill just because it's a white tender fish and it tends to fall apart a lot uh, on the grill. Um, but there are some tricks that you can do. Um, one of the things that's really, really important is keep that skin on. Keep that back skin on. It's edible. It brings a lot of flavor to it. Um, leave that on and uh, that'll hold your fish together. Well, like the salmon, right? Exactly. Like Leave it on, and then you can char that. A lot of people love it. It's really it good for you, crispy, right? It's and it's got some great vitamins in it, some okay. great oils, essential oils. Um, and what, what are you marinating it in? Uh, this is just olive oil, some tarragon, fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper. Uh, but for the pepper, the trick is to use white pepper. Uh, white pepper will bring that little nutty flavor to it okay. versus the black pepper. And a lot of people uh, serve uh, walleye with almonds or toasted almonds or toasted nuts. That white pepper gives that little bit of nuttiness, nice little crisp flavor to it. Okay, so you get it marinated now. Tell me about what's going on with the grill there. How, how so long the, do you keep the, it on? The grill is super, super hot. Uh, it'll, it'll cook very quickly. One of the keys is making sure you really oil up that grill. It'll flame up a little bit and make sure it's nice and nice and hot. And this oil will help it from uh, sticking. Okay, wonderful. You're gonna go uh, backside up, belly down on the grill. We'll get a nice little sear on that. That means you're doing it right. Okay, so the oh, so the skin's up on that. The skin is up. Okay. The skin All will right, actually skin hold, the, hold the meat together as it cooks. Oh. If that skin's off, it's going to actually pop up because the steam's trying to escape and get in between the layers of flesh. This will keep that from happening. Oh, that looks so good. So how long do we keep it on? Not too long, it's right? Not too long, yeah. Just a couple minutes per side. Um, and the other trick, we'll pull this baby off right now, let this rest for a second. Uh, another way you can do it is you can't get one of these grill pans, but you really don't need to. It's for vegetables and for some fish. Um, but if you do it right, you're not going to have a problem. It'll be perfect every time. Then when okay. you switch it, you don't switch it back onto the back. You're going to just give it a nice little turn. Okay, just to get those grill marks, Just huh? to get those nice grill marks and to keep that front flesh cooking. Okay. Really hot grill is what you're saying. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so are you going to make a little tartar sauce for yeah, us? Yeah, we, we actually just did a little tartar sauce. The recipe's online, so you can go and look at it online. But it's uh, lemon pepper, Worcestershire, mayo, and capers. Oh, God, I love capers. Just a little bit of salt. The capers are my daughter, Lucy, loves capers. I can't keep them. She literally just grabs the thing and just eats them with a fork. It's crazy. <laughs> she loves her salt. I mean, she come on. She does. You know what? She's a smart girl. She She's is. a good she cook. She is. All right. Well, so then just go ahead and put it on the bun. Are these uh, recipes on, at Finnegan's online? Or they are not at Finnegan's. These are just something we're doing back here. Uh, right now, we have a restaurant next door to us that does some food service for us, some really good food at Travola. Um, but this is just fresh summer stuff. Wonderful. And also one thing you can't forget is make sure you have fun with your buns. Yeah, I said have fun with your <laughs> buns. I'm using a nice little brioche here. Uh, that gives it a little more buttery, buttery flavor and really finishes off your sandwich. I do. I always get those. So I, you know, good. why not? If you're going to have so a hamburger, good. have a great bun. That's great. So you want to finish up that, that, uh, that walleye there? It looks so wonderful. Oh my goodness. So we have recipes for both of the sauces that he made online and also, of course, the tips for making that perfect burger and making that perfect walleye sandwich. Johnny, thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you for having hanging us. Hanging out. Go see Johnny at Finnegan's. Go see all the friends down at Finnegan's. It's such a great cause. Grab the beer. It's going to amazing uh, food for a lot of folks that need it. Um, and we will be back with more details on what's going on with the rest of our show. Again, if you want the recipes, just uh, text the word recipes to 763-797-7215. Oh, and there it is. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll be right back.